Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3 Talking Time. Uh, this time we actually don't have a tie for votes. We're going to go straight off of straight votes. The only Robot Masters that got votes last time were Needle Man and Magnet Man. And Needle Man pulled out the lead by a single vote. What's interesting about these two Robot Masters is that Magnet Man is the first one suggested by Nintendo Power, whereas Needle Man is the last one suggested. And I will explain towards the end of the video why doing Needle Man last is a terrible idea. But for now, we're going to start out in his stage filled with these enemies that are called Harry Harry. And yes, that is their name. Oh, and that was gracious of him to drop a huge health power up. And of course, because I'm down here, it's going to drop something that I don't, that I would like, or maybe not. So it's been a few days since I've recorded. Unfortunately, the weekend just was not prime recording time. And that's how we outrun a Met Bullet. Now, in talking time, we actually have a thread now that is the uh, monthly LP roundup, I think is what it's called. Uh, this cool guy, Eddie, decided that it would be a way to promote interest in the current LPs on the forum. And for his sake, Top Man is going to be used against enemies here, because that was his suggestion to me. And as you can see, the top spin is not the easiest weapon to use, but it does have its surprising uses. So that's for you, Eddie. Thanks for the awesome thread. Fortunately, that's about as useful as it's going to be here. You can use the top spin on the porcupines, but it's really more of a hassle than it's worth. And Needleman's stage itself is very simple. You've seen just about everything it has to offer at this point, between these uh, needle traps and the porcupines. And I'm sure that there's a way to get that E-Tank, but fighting Harry here for it may not be the best option. I wonder... Well, there you go. We'll go ahead and use one of our E-Tanks. Why not? We started with so many of them. And we're going to replace it anyway. So there. You saw me use Top Spin against every enemy of note in the level. The only thing that the level has besides that are these Hammer Joes. And that was a bad positioning. But you can actually just... Let's try this a little bit. There we go. You just kind of edge yourself just to the top of that ladder, and you can shoot them without even being in their line of fire. Let's see if we can pull this off right. And there's a use that Spark Shot has. And that's about the only use that it's had. But hey, we've let our top, our energy weapons, our weapon energy go to good use. And that's it for Needleman's stage. Needleman himself is going to be interesting, however. I don't think I'm going to do this without using an E-Tank. Needleman's pattern is actually a lot like Metal Man's pattern for Mega Man 2. And he does like to jump around, but he has his uh, jump and shoot pattern. That's a little close. But he kind of patterns alternates between his jumping pattern and his his headbutt pattern. If you have the Gemini laser, ooh, this is close, too close for my comfort. Oh my god. 
Talk about a wasted e take. What the hey? We've got eight of the fuckers. I think we can handle this. Unfortunately, top men or our top spin and our spark shot are useless against uh, needle man. And I, you could say this fight is like is Metal Man 2.0. Although there's one very important reason why that may not apply. And his little needle shots that he fires do try to home on your position. But yeah, Needleman is not a fun one to take down with just the Buster. That's not to say it's impossible, it's just that I am not manly enough to do it. Come on! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Needleman is down. I don't even think I used a knee tank that time. And his weapon is going to be pretty useful coming up. But it's not even the Needle Cannon that makes, uh... Needleman worth fighting. It's the Rush Jet. Because the Rush Jet in Mega Man 3 is broken. And we have our new password there. Uh, I'm trying to think of which dot it is that is the AE tank dot. But anyway, it's kind of an odd little line there. We've got A3, C3, B, D3, and then F4. But that's it for now. That's three Robot Masters down. And this is getting to where things are a little more interesting because we have some weaknesses in our arsenal. So some of these choices we are well prepared to handle and some we are definitely not prepared to handle. But ultimately, it's up to you. So which of these five robot masters are we going to take on next time? Until then, this is Red Silvers, and you have yourself a good night.